patients get deep vein thrombosis, which is blood clots in the deep veins of the leg, and that can cause problems with obstructing the blood flow so the leg swells up. It can also cause a problem where the clots can break off and go into the lungs and cause what's called pulmonary embolism. And we can treat both these conditions with some aggressive catheter techniques. And the way we treat the clots in the deep veins in the legs is what we'll do is we put the patient on their abdomen, so they're prone, and then we put a little tiny needle into the popliteal vein behind the knee, and then we can thread catheters or little tubes up the leg and into the clot. And then what we do is we give some clot busting drugs as well as some little catheters that can blend the clot and dissolve it. And then ultimately you can clear the clot and so the leg swelling goes down and you can also minimize the likelihood of the clots going to the lungs. Sometimes people can't be on a blood thinner to treat the clots in the legs and so we'll put in a little device called a filter. A filter, it looks like an umbrella but it doesn't have the material on it and it goes inside the inferior vena cava which is the main vein draining the abdomen so it also drains both legs and that can be threaded in either from the femoral vein or from the jugular vein. It's, it's done under local anesthesia and it's threaded in under x-ray guidance which it takes about 10 minutes for the IVC filter to be put in. Now sometimes people don't need the IVC filters for a long period of time and we try to remove these because they can cause problems if they're in too long and so what you can do is usually from a jugular vein approach you can thread a special little catheter in to where the filter is and then you can capture the filter and pull it inside a catheter and pull it outside the body so that the filter is no longer inside the vein.